if not the yellow. Well, in the end, decided he didn't want to risk going back to the balk end. As it happens, it's uh, not a bad shot, is it? Blue's in the way, really, to play the ideal safety shot for Ricky to get the white back behind, behind the yellow. And if he screws it into ball, the green's in the way. So it's, it's turned out to be a good safety shot, that. Certainly one that uh, I didn't see could play. <coughs> I just had to play a containing safety there. I was in trouble. <coughs> Just looking for another couple of reds, but the way these four reds are ingested here. Are well, you trying to get the snooker behind the black? Mm -hmm. So it's a bit risky playing a ball that slow, but he's not got the snooker. There's a gap between the black and the cushion. Now, this red may pot. This red may pot. I think it does. And if he can just screw back a little bit, he may be even be on the black. I think he's just a little bit too close to it, John, isn't he? Otherwise, he would definitely play it. He's coming to have another look. An inch apart. He's almost got to put his cue right in the hair and come down from a great height. That's what he's looking at. with that it's such an easy safety shot now for Ricky should bring a couple of reds into play first class first class oh. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at the two faces of the boys Absolutely unbelievable. Get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Mark offering the cue to referee Paul Collier. If you can't see... At least the bought line from where the brown is, and we can see the white is so close to the brown. You need to hit at least the bought line to be able to get the angle with loads aside. And when he's shooting into a cushion, John, like this, this you've really no, not a lot of idea where they're going to go. So he's now playing five cushions. Yeah, he'll do well to get close to these reds. Well, we could be here for a while, John. Well, of course, this is the thing with the misrule. I mean, you can lose so many points. He's 39 behind. What price is he in front by the time he gets back to the table? Well... <laughs> He's asking for the white line to be put up, Mark, but we can't show you the white line. It's... Uh... <laughs> It's a bit tricky, I'm afraid. We can't even find the white line, to be honest. What about off the jaws, John, of the, the, the pocket the white's nearest to? That's, a, that's an option. Yeah, the green's in the way. But I know what you're so, saying, yeah, play, play it in the jaws, <laughs> try to rattle the jaws and let it come down. It's, it's, it's almost an impossible hit, this. It's, it's getting the pace into the cue ball that's the problem. Foul. The miss, Ricky Walden, four. And it's still not online to hit the reds. 
I've got to be honest, this is one of the hardest snookers I've seen laid, at the, especially at this stage of the game when somebody's 40-odd points in front and is almost a certainty to win the frame. I think he's going to have to have one go at it in the jaws and trying to get the jaws to come up. But he thinks it's on, but the harder he hits it, the harder it's going to square up. As I say, he's been well short, but he was never on line with the Reds. Hello. Aye, aye. Please He's not called a miss. Congratulations, Paul Collier. Now, that's the first time for a long time I've seen the referee give the player the benefit of the doubt because that was an almost an impossible snooker. That's first class refereeing from Paul Collier. Well done. Well, he's not complained about it, Ricky Walden. And when you see how much you miss by. Considering, and they had to play it, but 